nice. This is Pac-Land on the PC Engine, released by Namco in 1989, and it's based on their arcade machine of the same name, released in 1984. This is my favourite Pac-Man game. You could argue it's not a true Pac-Man game, but all the elements are in place, you know. It, it, obviously it's a platformer, but you know, ghosts, uh, fruits, you can collect power pills, you can eat them, but it's a left to right side scroller. The, the deal is you have to um, take fairies and return to Fairyland. You do that by sticking them under your hat, so hopefully he's punched a couple of air holes in there. And second of all, you do a lot of running in this game, so I'm pretty sure it's going to get nasty under there for the little fairy. Now, it's interesting because the controls are kind of weird. Uh, well, not weird if you understand what the controls are like in the arcade. Button 1 is run right, button 2 is run left, and up on the D-pad is jump. Which may sound silly, but the original version of this, at least the one I played back in the day, it didn't have uh, a joystick. Yeah, it was all button controlled. Right, let's get into it. Um, now, uh, differences between this uh, in Japan and in the West, because they, in Japan obviously it was released by Namco, in the West it was distributed by uh, Midway, is in Japan Pac Man had a bigger nose. I don't know if that meant he was like a Pinocchio deal going on and he was a liar. Honestly, Mum, I didn't eat all those goats before lunch. I honestly don't know, but I love and adore this game, but there's no doubt, uh, sorry, no denying, it, it takes a lot of getting used to the controls, right. Let's get into it. He says. <clears throat> Ooh, you can change it. I'm going to go with it old school and traditional. I did not know that. Right, trip one. Wow, it's just like college, sorry. Graphically, this is superb, and this is probably the best rendition or home port there is. He says, I've never played the Amiga or the Atari ST version. The Spectrum version was horrible. Right, so, oh, check it out. The undead, oh, you can land on their roofs as well. But the undead apparently are, are tired of, well, floating, so now they've, they're carpooling. I love the background. I'm pretty sure the inspiration for the cartoon came from this. There you go. See, power pills, cool. I still use them the same way I would use it in any Pac-Man game, which is screw getting points, just leg it through. Oh, and Pony, now the undead's got an air... Oh, fuck me, that was close. An air force. So I'm sure it's uh, Blinky, Pinky, Inky and Clyde. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's a church. Isn't the church doing anything about the ghosts? I mean, come on. The power of Christ compels you and all that. Break time. Those yellow things at the bottom, that's your, uh, your time. Right. Now... It's got a sense of momentum, so when you play it on the button, oh shit, like I'm playing it on now. Wow, collision detection's not too good, but well, yeah, when you play it with the buttons, uh, the, the sense of direction or the momentum kind of makes it a little bit sort of trying to get used to it. I understand that you can jump on um, the cars and stuff, I'm not sure why you can jump on them when they're in their flying machines. That's cool, that little effect there where you see it's high. Oh, pogo sticks, who knew that they were deadly? Shit. Uh, boring random, oh that was close, boring random fact, this is one of the first games that in the arcade to have parallax scrolling, um, even though, uh, you know, way, way, way before I should say, you know, the 16-bit era. Oh, this is where the, the momentum starts to kind of work against you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, shit. Music's epic. Oh, look at you creeping up from the rear. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like that game show, all my wiper, isn't it? Only not shit. Oh, you got a leg it. Jump, jump. There we go. More of the Undead's Air Force. They're pretty well funded, aren't they? Come on. Oh my god, that was close. See, that's what I mean about getting used to the controls. As soon as I landed, I forgot to, uh, you know, oh, that's trippy, mind. Uh, I love that effect. I forgot to, uh, you know, I was like, oh, job done. And then you forget that you're pressing the buttons and not the D-pad. <clears throat> Sweet. 
sweet. Why don't you just grow big and use your fairy magic and zap those bastards? Right. This is, you got special magic shoes and they give you like three jumps. Ooh. I'm playing it safe. Ooh. Come on. No. Oi. Oh, that got me out of dodge. Oh, these boots are amazing. They're much better than my Nikes. Oh, run, run, run. Oh, thank you. Does this mean technically Pac-Man's a drug addict? <clears throat> Hello, the family. What's for dinner? Trip to? Still folks like college. Is this a new town? Oh. Yes, much more frisky. The bombs, are they basically dropping their baby? Oh shit, oh bollock, their babies on you. Look, this, uh, is this Packland or is this, I don't know, purgatory or something? Because look, they've got public transport and everything. Ooh, run. Oh shit, ah, you can jump through them, it's their, it's their kit, it's their kit. It's your kids, Marty. Something's got to be done about your kids. It's their kids that kill you. Right, well, you get the impression. I'm going to call it quits there. Pac-Land on the PC Engine. Hands down my favourite Pac-Man game ever. Hands down one of my favourite PC Engine games ever. And just an absolutely all-round brilliant, brilliant game. And this is the best version. Oh, shit. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.